Sea turtles. We just found a new sea turtle about a half hour ago there. We've got uh, 25 foot crocodiles that we found here up on the beach, which is about uh, 10 miles to the west of here where 295 is. There's a mangrove forest. There's dinosaurs walking on the beach. There's a crocodile up there called Dinosuchus, which is 45 feet long. There's predatory dinosaurs like raptors. One called Dryptosaurus was found over here in Ceres Park. Um, and so this is just this amazing uh, richness of uh, a Cretaceous life that occurs right here. What we find is this bone bed. And so we find this big accumulation of fossils. In this area here this year, we've excavated thousands of fossils in an area that's about 10 yards by 10 yards. And so the question is, is this a slow accumulation of dead bodies, right? Did, did this take hundreds of years to accumulate or did they all die at once? And it's looking like they all died at once because we see lots of articulated specimens, all the bones are together like they were in life. And so now we know we have this mass death assemblage and it occurs right near the end of the Cretaceous period. And at the end of the Cretaceous period, there's an asteroid that comes down, hits off the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico, wipes out 65% of species on the planet. The ash and the dust and the debris layer from that impact has been found on all seven continents, but there isn't any place in the world where you can go and put your finger on a fossil that's in that layer. There isn't any place in the world where you can put your finger on a fossil and say that individual died that day, except this is looking like it's that place now. And so this is looking like the one place in the world that actually records the mass extinction event that resulted from that meteor impact that wiped out 65% of species on the planet. So that makes this something like a World Heritage Site. It gives it global importance. And it's amazing that it's within a major metropolitan area. There's no other productive fossil site in the country within a major metro area. And so it's an amazing resource, not only for science, but for education, for the community. And so we're really happy and proud to have it here. We're really excited that we get this kind of enthusiasm. I didn't quite expect this. Uh, so as you file through, you'll see my students working in that layer. Um, you can go over here and uh, there's a sieve set up. There are places to dig over there. Anybody working here can help answer your questions. So thanks for being here. Thank Appreciate you. it.